Welcome to my baubles and mandalas. Yes, we're going to put baubles and mandalas together to create a whole new journal or coloring book. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to see when you open the zip file is baubles. And here are all of our baubles. And then mandalas. And then here are all the mandalas you can use forever and ever. I created them myself. But we're going to open our coloring book template. The first thing you're going to see is what I like to think of as the create page. We're going to be putting together all the baubles and mandalas in here. And then we're going to go to each of these pages and stick them in. So this is the first page. If you haven't purchased my baubles and mandalas and you're not really sure and you just want to learn how to do this or follow along, I do have some practice ornaments for you. They're at archive.org and if you go just below, you can get the links there too. So this page will be deleted before we decide to create our PDF. Now we have our first page here. This is the title page. And on all of my new templates, I'm putting little reminders here for you. So you see the word binding? That's the center of our book. Since the binding is on the left side, this is a right page. It's really weird, I know, but this is our title page. You might want to put Christmas baubles or whatever you like in here. The next page is behind the title page. Sometimes we'll call it the table of contents page. This is a left side page because the binding is on the right side. This page can be used for your copyright information or maybe you want to put your personal website on here or whatever. And then here's our actual first page for our coloring book. I put a little reminder here, this is the right side of an open book. And then we have the next page, that's the left side. Now you're probably wondering, hey Catherine, there's only two pages here. That's because I wasn't sure how many pages you want. So let's go up to the new slide and we need to put in a green side or a right side page. So if you look over here way on the left, let me see if I can make this a little bigger. You notice it goes green, orange, green, orange or left dark, right dark, left dark, left dark, right dark, depending if you're colorblind or not. And then we just keep with that same tempo all the way down until you have the number of pages you want. One thing to remember is that KDP requires at least 24 pages. And if you're going to do KDP, you want it black and white. All right. Having said all that, let's create our first coloring page. We're going to go to insert picture. So now we're going to pick a bobble. Doesn't matter which one you want to start with. Let's start with the white one first. And I'm just going to start with the first one. And I'm going to move this image and you're going to see that the center is transparent. And that's because that's where we want to put the Mandela. So I'm going to leave that there. Next, we have to insert the Mandela. So we're going to go back to insert pictures. I'm going to go Bubbles and Mandela's and then Mandela. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Let's pick the first one and I'm going to click insert. It's a little small, no problem. I'm going to slide it to the side and just make it really big. All right, so I'm just going to put it there. Now you're probably thinking, well, wait a second, Catherine. Um, shouldn't this be in the back? You are correct. We're going to click on the image, right click, send to back and now we're going to just kind of move it. Sometimes people like to put things dead in the center, which is great, but sometimes you might have something interesting if you put it off to the side. But for this one, let's try to put it pretty much near the center. I'm going to bring it down a little. I don't know. That looks good. So I'm going to click on the outside. So basically we have it done. The next step though is we're going to get rid of some of this gobbledygook on the outside. So just click on that image. We're going to go way up here to picture format, crop, and then we're just going to go zoop, crop it. All right. And this side, wow, we're going to have to make this a smaller picture here. Okay. Went way, way off, off the picture there. And we're just going to keep doing this until we have something that we like. Okay, we're gonna click on the outside. I still have a little bit here, but I noticed that up here I don't have anything. So I think I'm going to, whoops, that actually moved our bobble. So I'm gonna see if I can get my image, but 
if I click on it, what's happening is I'm getting my bobble, which is okay, but I don't want the bobble. So I'm going to right click, send it back, and that pulls up my image. I'm going to bring my image up a little bit because I do want some of it in here. So actually, let's just increase it a little bit. And what I mean is that, well, I'll show you here. And what I mean is I'm going to right click, send it back, is that I want a little bit in here too. And it's not quite centered. I'm just going to use my left key, right key. Okay, that looks good. It's okay. This is okay. Don't freak out. We're going to fix that in a second. So I'm going to highlight everything, right click, cut. Let's go to our first page, right click, paste. All right, let's get rid of this now. So format picture, crop, bring it over just a little. Okay. Right click, cut, right click, paste again. I like to do that just to make sure it's all one image, so to speak. Now, if I move this bobble, you're going to notice that the Mandela is also transparent. And what we want is we want it so that it's in the center of between the green part and the red part. I should probably mention the red part. I should probably mention this. This is a bleed coloring book. So our images can go off the red part and the green part but we don't want any words to go off because KDP doesn't like that and it also gets cut off. Also, this is my binding. So let me zoom in a little bit here. Remember, this is the right side of my book and here the dark piece here is represented in this green piece. So if I move it too far over, it's going to be, you know, in that fold of the book. So we don't want that either. But you know what? This looks pretty awesome to me. And guess what? We just did our first one. Woohoo! All right, let's go back to the very top here and let's create another one. Yes, you just created your first coloring page. How cool is that? We're going to go to insert pictures. Now you could do it backwards if you want. You could put the Mandela in first, but we're going to go to bobbles. Let's pick a different bobble this time. Let's pick this one, but I'm going to pick the black background. I'm going to insert it. Okay. Once again, this is transparent, this white piece is here. Next, we're going to insert pictures and we're going to go to our mandala. And I'm probably saying it right, mandala, mandala. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to insert it. It did come to the front, even though this is black and this is black. But I'm going to see what I would like to do. And let's just make this really big. And how about, golly, I don't know, maybe something like that. Let's leave it like that. There's a couple ideas with this that you might want to consider. First of all, a lot of my images will have this little hoop here. You know, that's the part where you put that little hook or whatever you want to call it. Maybe you want this to stay white and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But if you like this, what we're going to do is we're going to try to grab all of it. I'm going to make this smaller. See if I can grab all of it. I know I have all of it because I have my mandala in a little box here and my image in a little box. I'm going to right click, cut, right click, paste. Okay. And now I'm going to shrink it up. Now that I like this, we have to decide, do you like this part or not? If you don't, it's really easy. We're going to insert shape. We're going to put a circle in there. I'm just going to draw a circle right here. We want the shape field to be white and we, we don't want an outline. It won't show anyway, but I'm just going to slowly move this to where I want it. Now it's on the top. So remember, right click, send it back. Okay. But it, what happened is, is now it's, it's behind our Mandela, so we need to right click, send it back our Mandela, and now, woohoo, look at that. Now I realize you're probably a little confused. We have three pieces here. The little, the white circle is the first layer, the second layer is our Mandela, and the third layer is our bobble. At this point, what we're going to do 
is we are going to highlight everything. And I know I have highlighted it because I have a box around my mandala, a box around my bobble, and a box around my white circle. Right click, right click, cut, right click, paste. All right. Our next step is to get rid of this gobbledygook. Format crop. We're going to do, 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 do. And it's okay if you get into the black part because we're going to have to add a little black for the complete black background. Okay. Right click, cut, right click, paste. And now it is all hooked together. All right. So we're going to right click, cut. We're going to go to our next page, right click, paste. And we are going to fit it the way we like it. Okay, I'm going to put it about like that, maybe down a little. All right, that looks good. Now you're probably thinking, hey, Catherine, wait a second. This is going to be white on the outside. And you know what? That's really weird. You're right. It is really weird. So we're going to go to Insert, Shapes. We're going to pick the rectangle. And we're going to start making black rectangles. So we're going to go to eyedropper. I'm going to click this black just to make sure that our colors match. Shape outline, no outline. Right click on my box, copy, right click, paste. Put it here, right click, paste. All right, okay, right click, paste. And that page is done. You could, if you wanted, to highlight everything, right click, cut, right click, paste. But one thing you're going to notice with PowerPoint is it's going to make the image fit within our page. But that's okay because we can just do some really cool stuff here. Just I'm holding down my mouse key. Can you see the orange back there? Now remember, I don't want it too close to that orange bring it down and I think I'm gonna pull this over just a little bit so I'm gonna go that looks well maybe a little more bring this over all right that looks awesome and now you have a white page and a black page I'm gonna give you a couple tips about when you choose a mandala so I'm gonna go back up here I'm gonna insert another bobble Let's do this one. That's kind of cool. All right. There are many things you could put in the background. Let's go to online pictures. And I'm going to put in Mandela. All right. And I'm just going to pick one randomly. Let's pick this one. Okay. And then insert. All right. So down here, this photo is by unknown author is licensed under Creative Commons by no credit, I think. But anyway, look the Creative Commons up. So this is another nice one. I tried to get one that wasn't nice, but that's okay. There is a point though when you expand these. Now look at this. It's getting really pixelated. If you have an image that when you download it right away or you increase it, it gets pixelated. This is what it's going to look like in the book and you don't want that. The other thing that you want to think about is, is this book for adults or is this book for children? So I'm going to right click, send it back and I'm just going to center this for a second and then we'll talk about it here. If this is for children, think about their ages. Do they have the dexterity to color these small pieces? I'm not sure. I mean, you have to decide that for yourself. So if this is for children, I would make my pieces that are bigger, even bigger than this. But if it's for adults, that probably would work okay too. The other thing that I want to talk about is you can actually change the complete colors. So I'm going to go to one of our pages we created. I'm going to click on our image. If I go to picture format and I go to color, you can actually color them. How cool is that? I know. So if you're going to print this for people and just hand it out, go to it. 
let's go to this one and then picture format color no that's pretty I don't know I'm a little partial to blue I like blue all right so let's click on it and picture format now before we're gonna send this a PDF we need to delete this first page so I just highlight it delete then we're gonna go to file save as we're gonna browse I'm gonna save it here I'm gonna put this as practice okay and then save file save as now let's actually save it as a PDF this time and save let's take a look all right here's our PDF double click it so remember our first two pages we didn't put anything so you put your own title and whatnot but here's the next page look how nice that looks Hmm, this one looks like we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger because we have this white in there. But guess what? That's no problem. Let's do it right now. We're going to go here. We're going to pull this stuff out a little bit. Pull this stuff out a little bit. File. We're going to save it again. Then file. Save as. Browse. PDF save yep we're gonna replace it and then let's go into our folder again here it is and what's it gonna look like oh so much better we have a little white on the top and bottom here but once again we could fix that it could just be the sorry about that it could just be the bounds of the PDF also because see it's all the way around cool all right okay so that's the end of this little video for bobbles and mandelas remember that you can get the free images to play around with at archive.org just look right down below and you're going to see the links to those i'm also going to have the link to my bobbles and mandelas coloring book images it also includes not just the bobbles and the mandelas let me make them even larger okay but it also includes the coloring book template that we just used now let's talk about sizes for a second I've done eight and a half by eleven six by nine seven by ten five by eight and the thing is is that 100 pages at an eight and a half by eleven it's the same price that Amazon will charge you as if it's a six by nine or a five by eight or a seven by 10. So I've gotten to the point where I think I'm just gonna make everything eight and a half by 11 because they're gonna charge me the same, but the book's gonna come out larger. Maybe it's just me, but coloring books, I like large coloring books. I don't know, it's up to you though. Once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you again.